Hello everybody and welcome back to Spelunky 2. It's day 55. It is patch 1.16, which is mostly bug fixes, but it does change Olmec a little bit. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see that today, but uh, who knows. Um, I guess we could always hop into a shortcut and, and just uh, just try it out. Let's let's stick with iron for now. How are you doing, Jim? How has your uh, Thursday been? <laughs> I've always got to think about the day. Um, let's let's take a quick look at this uh, and and see how Olmec looks now uh, in his new form. Uh, I believe he's up here. There we go. Here he comes, slamming down. Perfect. Now, of course, with new Olmec, he, uh, we know he won't shoot bombs until he's up above you. Bam, bam, bam. Pretty standard. If you get on top of him, he doesn't shoot bombs anymore. That's pretty much a known entity. Oh, interesting. Oh, so now he just shoots the bombs all the time. Okay, so they have changed that. I thought he continued to shoot, so, but the key thing isn't this. He stops. He shoots them three times. And then he stops. And he doesn't do it anymore. And you're just kind of here. Doing good, chilling with some Final Fantasy XIV after work. That sounds fantastic. It's been a while since I played much Final Fantasy XIV, but I always really enjoyed it. So now, the only way to get him to start um, bombing again is to take out his um, floaters, as I believe um, the game has coined them. Which I don't know that I love that term, to be honest, but... It is what it is. And having done that, I believe he will bomb again. Which is very scary, to be honest. Oh, man, okay. So you can't even get away with that. Uh, so with equipment, this obviously wouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, hello, Andrew. How are you doing? We're just, uh, we're just doing a quick test on Olmec, who has changed with a new patch. Uh, and we'll get into a run in a second. Hope you're doing alright, Andrew. Hope you had a good day. I enjoyed watching a bit of Red Dead earlier. It was good fun. Bam. Hello, hello, Martin. Welcome in. Good to see everyone. We're, we're just doing some, some Olmec tests. We're trying out new Olmec. So I thought that he just... Uh, that he still bombed when he was under you. But in fact, it doesn't even matter anymore. He just bombs. And this is actually kind of scary, but he just keeps bombing. And then, after that, you have to, uh, you have to deal with his, um, his blocks, or his, uh, his floaters to get him to go again. Oh, we almost got him down. That was pretty good. So, Willie, if we go down below him here, okay, and then he will bomb. Oh, that's that's real bad, though. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you do still have to be below him, but you don't have to be directly underneath him. That's really interesting. We'll try it once more. All good. That's good to hear. Hmm, I don't actually think it's going to be high enough, but we can, I believe, just jump up and he should come down. There we go. So yeah, if you want to test Olmec, this is how you do it. You throw a rope up between these these second and third torches, and he'll come down, and then you can uh, experiment with him. Now he should come over this way now. I, I guess hypothetically you could like whip the bombs, pick the bombs up. You can kind of toy with the bombs if you want to. But he's just going to keep shooting bombs, and that's very scary. I think getting him to go that way first is definitely the, the, the trick. Because it's going to make him bomb down a lot more that way. And then it should be feasible, I think, to, uh, to get him to, um, to drop down here, right? And if we can get him to drop down here, 
then he goes down into phase two or phase three I guess it would be because this is technically phase two ah oh, that's disappointing we'll wait we'll wait till he comes back over again but we do want to we do want to get him uh, down it, uh, the one of the nice things is he does move quite quickly because obviously he's not uh he's not bombing you know he's just sliding back and forth and hopefully we can just drop him down here. Perfect. Now we should be able to drop onto him. And now this this functions kind of like... Except that he uh, shoots these boys out now. Which is very scary to be honest. I don't like him doing this. It intimidates me. Ah, yeah, I didn't have. I don't actually know how he killed me there because we were standing, uh, we were standing like below him. So I'm not quite sure how he killed me. Um, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, phase phase three Olmec is kind of scary. I think we will probably want to spend a little time practicing that. But um, let's go back to camp for now. Uh, and we'll do an actual run. Cool to see though. Uh, interesting they changed it again. I actually kind of liked where it was at. Uh, I do think it kind of didn't solve the problem. Which the problem in the original fight was that you were just very passive. And that was kind of the way people played it. Is they just hung around on top of him for about three or four minutes, had a drink, had a chat, um, and then uh, killed him. Whereas now, uh, or, or with the, the previous incarnation, the one we've just had, you still kind of just waited for him to bomb an area out. And I thought what you'd be able to do is just get him to bomb out reliably in the same place, but it seems like that's not actually the case. So you're actually probably going to want to make the effort to um, make sure that you bomb him uh, you want to make you want to I think you actually probably now want to get him down to phase three a little bit quicker because phase two seems like it could actually be kind of dangerous now because it is more unpredictable um, and maybe people will find out a way to make it a bit more predictable but the bombs come out at weird angles so it's always a little unpredictable hi Kyle how's it going she seems lost in her own little world oh that's uh this is uh Veruca or whatever her name is all right let's let's get going um you missed it, I think you missed it, Carl, but we were just doing a little bit of testing on new Olmec, which is very interesting. It does not work quite how I anticipated it, um, which does kind of throw a wrench into what I was expecting to uh, to use as my strategy. Valerie, there we go, okay. What did I call her? I don't know. And I call her the, um, whatever the name of the, uh, the woman in, um, gosh, Willy Wonka was. I think, I, I think that's what I called her. I can't even think what her name is now, but I think that may have been the name I used. Purple Girl, yeah. I'd like a ruby, sure. This is a, this is a weird little level. It's a weird little level. But hey, that's good fun. That's what we're here for. Hope everyone's having a nice, uh, nice Thursday. I keep thinking it's Wednesday. I days are weird now. I don't know. I've never been, uh, I've never been great with days, but especially uh, nowadays, I feel like they're only more confusing. Kind of want him down. Doesn't make a huge difference, but just in case I jump back up and he gets in the way. Look at that. A nice easy pet. You threw your daily, but uh, the run after, you got the Ice Caves character you were missing. Okay, so it is on the Ice Caves. I mean, I figured it probably was, because it was between the character you get in the Yeti Cave and the character you get in old Neo Babylon. So that made the most sense. 
but good to know. Uh, right, now we need to whip you over because you can't use uh, bugs. I would kind of like them to patch that back in. I don't mind that they don't. Uh, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like uh, the game's missing uh, bugs damaging enemies, but personally, I, I would like it. I, I like the bugs damaging the enemies. I thought it was a fun, uh, fun strat. There we go. Hello, hello. MJ Play Games coming in. Thank you very much, MJ. How are you doing? Can we get a shout out for, for MJ, please? That would be fantastic. How is everyone doing? MJ, you were playing Hollow Knight, weren't you? How is Hollow Knight going? I have not played enough Hollow Knight. Kyle will be very excited to hear that you've been playing Hollow Knight. If you want bugs, get bug snacks. I do want, I do want bugs. I do, I do want bugs and I do actually want bug snacks. Um, I'm torn on getting bug snacks now. Uh, I really want to make this jump. We actually did it yesterday. It's such an awkward jump to make, but it is doable. Huh. Nah. You know what? You know what? It's fine. I'll just, I'll just use a rope. It's okay. But how is everyone doing? Let's have a look. How is everyone doing? Hollow Knight was glorious. How am I doing? I'm, I'm doing very well, thank you. How is, uh, it sounds like you were having a good time playing Hollow Knight. Uh, I, yeah, I really enjoyed what I played of Hollow Knight. I just haven't, haven't been back to it in a while. Um, I definitely need to, to get back to that at some point. You know a friend who lost half his life to Spelunky? Yeah, I can, I can definitely believe that. Um, you know, I, I never played as much Spelunky as I would have liked. I played quite a lot of it, but, you know, um... You know, time, time is uh, time is a harsh mistress, and uh, I didn't end up playing it quite as much as I would have liked, but I love it. And I've been playing Spelunky 2 since it came out, so I guess at the moment I'm losing myself to Spelunky. Oh man, I, this thing is up here somewhere, isn't it? That is a real pain. Right, let's uh, let's have a look. We need to get back up here with this. Um, Oh, this is very awkward, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to commit to it because I want the stuff. This is going to cost us all of our ropes, which I don't like. But I hope everyone's, uh, but I hope everyone's having a nice uh, Thursday. Okay. Now we're going to mine in over here. And we should be okay to do this. Oh, the thing is, I've left a key behind. So we're going to be racing a little bit here. But that's fine. We're going to have to dodge a ghost. Hopefully we can dodge a ghost. My ghost dodging skills, not up to scratch, but... Oh man, I've locked myself in here, haven't I? That's bad. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to have to leave the mattock behind, but that's actually, that's actually fine. It does mean we can get out, okay. You love a game with a wall jump. Yeah, I love a game with a wall jump. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I remember I did at least get as far as the wall jump. I got to, I got to that city. The city, I think it's called the City of Tears, and I was I was exploring around there, and um, I think that's about as far as I'd gotten. Uh, I'd unlocked a fair bit around there, like when you first get there. Um, that was very good. Player ghosts can blow the big ghost about. Oh, interesting. That's about as far as you got today. That's really cool. Yeah, I really like that. When you get there and it's like, I think it's like pouring down with rain and you can stand at the windows. Yeah, the atmosphere there is really cool. Uh, oh, you, oof, oof. Skeletons, man. You know, you. I told you I've played this game a lot and now you're going to expect me to play it well. And uh, that may not happen, but we'll see. We'll see. Been in enough chats to know you're happy to embarrass everyone, including yourself. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's try and not kill ourselves here. That would be nice. Oh gosh, why is there a scorpion in the pot? Leave the scorpion. We don't need the scorpion. Scorpions are the worst thing in this game. They generally only show up in pots, uh, but they're a nightmare. Oh wow, he jumped up there. That's weird. <laughs> That's not what I uh, not what I was expecting him to do. That's not gonna. I'm going to set this off. Let's get this rock. Huh. Okay. 
Hollow Knight is, yes. My mod Kyle Revelation is a huge Hollow Knight fan. Uh, so, he is, uh, he is always egging me on to play more of it. Uh, and I will, it, it, at some point. It is actually free on PS Plus recently, so I could maybe play it on there, although I don't know if I necessarily want to play it on there, because I've already started on PC, and it runs really well on PC, so... Um, I would like that turkey, actually. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, last time I played Hollow Knight, I did it on Mixer, because I was experimenting with Mixer, which tells you how long ago I last played Hollow Knight. Um... Oh boy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna buy anything here. I think I might buy compass and we don't need the skeleton key. So let's head on. Ah. But yes, we're having a we're having a lovely day here. A lovely uh, Thursday. Just uh we're hunting out secrets in Spelunky. Uh, I can't promise that I'll show you any secrets, because, uh... I can't promise that I won't just die in a silly way, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So you tried some teleporting earlier. I did someone, um... I think it was Xanagir, who does a lot of Spelunky videos. I saw he posted a video saying like, Hey, this is how you use the telepack. And I was like, I should probably watch that. I should probably learn how to use the telepack properly. Um, because I'm not good with it. I always end up just throwing myself into a wall. We used all our ropes, which is a little upsetting. Um. I have killed, I have killed the pet there. That's bad. Listen, we all go through a lot in, uh, in life and in Spelunky. And sometimes, uh, sometimes it goes badly. For those that we care about. If I go down here, you won't be able to get to me. A way to go eat your dinner? No worries, bro. Thank you very much for dropping by. Lovely to see you here. Enjoy your dinner and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna blow up this big rolling caveman. Perfect. Love that. Oop. Excuse me a second. There we go. There we go. And thank you very much for the follow. Very kind of you. All right, let's uh, let's head to Volcano, I guess. So, for those of you not familiar with Spelunky, when you get, you'll see these two red arrows uh, on sort of overlaid on my screen near the bottom. When we get to one four, which is the end of the first world, we can choose to go to one of two levels, and we're going to go to Volcana, which is uh, a lava land, as the name might kind of imply, providing we don't die on the way there. But hopefully, we'll be okay. All right, Ooh, a cheeky bat hiding in the darkness. Love to see that, always love to see that. I hate that bat, that spider being there, let's just go. Gonna regret not bringing a throwable with me, but uh, we'll see how it is, we'll see how it is. I think we're okay, I think we're okay. Uh, I don't like you being here. You kind of scare me. I don't know what it is, but okay. What is... Oh, no, this is awful. This whole place is awful. And now we're going to hit... We're in here with two lava boys. One of them's going to jump over and we're going to be in trouble. We've got a skeleton key. It's all right. We can go inside. One of these days I'll remember I have a skeleton key. Um, well, I guess it was today I remembered I had a skeleton key, but I feel like most of the time I just completely forget that it even exists. I don't, know how, I don't know how they died, but they did indeed die. Oh gosh, this is a nightmare. I'm going to drop this rock on this guy's head. And hope that he doesn't blow up anything too important. Okay, we're alright. He could have blown up the ghost pot there, which would have been bad. He did not blow up the ghost pot, which is good. This place is terrible. I, I don't... I don't... I actually love coming here, but I... I don't like being here. Um, 
It's such a nightmare. Oh, that's bad. Okay, now we're going to have to go around because I've just gotten rid of the only path. It's one of the many problems with Volcana. Damn, and we got flamed as well. I thought I had him in time. There's an altar. I'd love to do some sacrificing. I don't know if it's going to happen. But uh, we'll, we'll see what's, uh, what's working for us here. Pet. Nowhere to be seen. Maybe we just push on. Maybe we just push on. I could. I guess I could uh, sacrifice the guy. The guy's pretty accessible. Again, those of you new to Spelunky, this is one of the the mo most classic mechanics of Spelunky is that you can sacrifice people to Kali for goods and services, mostly goods. Could try a shortcut unlock run. Oh, that's true. That's the. Um, we need to bring the... Um, I've got to do like a really nightmarish thing here. Uh, we need to bring the key through from uh, all the way to World 5, right? That's the that's the shortcut. Uh, I wouldn't mind going for that. That would definitely be an interesting thing to do. And it's a little bit different than normal. Uh, I guess the only thing would be... Um, I will have to do new Olmec. Although, actually, I guess I don't have to do new Olmec, right? Because if we're going for a shortcut unlock, I don't really need to beat Olmec. So... Have you tried New Olmec, Kyle, since the patch? That's what I want to know. Or anyone in here who has played Spelunky 2, have you tried the new 1.16 patch? Because they've changed one of the fights in this game. Probably, probably for the better. Uh, depends how you look at it. Like, it means I'm going to have to engage with it more, and I don't know that I love that. But I think probably for the long-term interest of the game, it is probably for the best. Something just blew up there. Only played co-op since patch, and we only stage one that That's reasonable. Uh, I went into, I jumped through the shortcut just to try it out, um, because I was curious how it would actually play out. Hmm, okay, we've uh, we've definitely trapped ourselves here, but we can work around that. Question is, will we get all the way down here before our thing breaks? More importantly, where is the pirate character? The pirate character is for my dailies, Andrew. Uh, Margaret only comes out for the daily challenge. She's uh, specially restricted to that. So when you see Margaret, you know we're doing the daily challenge. Which is like, that wasn't necessarily my original intent for it, but it is quite a nice thing if, uh, if someone does tune in. Um, I did exactly the same thing there. It was the same pattern as over here, and I trapped myself in exactly the same way. Like a fool. She's a pirate. Is she a pirate? I mean, she has she has an eye patch, and she has, like, a, I think she has a skull and crossbones on her, but maybe I'm imagining that. Uh, right, there's a dog down here, which I don't love. Okay, we have gotten rid of the dog, which is good. I think that thing's finished breathing fire. It has. The dog, I think, went in the lava, which... I don't know if that's a good thing, because the dog is kind of useful sometimes, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. It means we don't have to deal with the dog. God, oh, this... Volcana, man. Oh, man. Bad damage there. Don't love that. Do not love that at all. Okay. Arr, how does a pirate come back? Okay, we're doing pirate jokes again, are we? How does a pirate come back to life? Go on. Tell me. For I must know. I My curiosity is peaked. Ooh, a turkey. Is it resurrection? Is that is that what you were going for? Oh, with the Arnk. Okay, I guess, I guess, yeah. The Arnk. I don't know how I feel about that. I like, I like Resurrection. That's, uh, that's, that's my, my spicy pun attempt. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do some drilling. Which is one of the secret things you can do in Spelunky. Sometimes it's really good. Oftentimes, it causes more problems than it solves. 
I don't know how I don't know how I stood on there with him and didn't get hit. Some things will forever remain a mystery. At least to me. Okay. Now the nice thing about these chaps is that they don't actually come at you. Uh, because they can't come off ledges. But the bats will come at us. We need to deal with that. Looks like there was no lava. Now that doesn't mean that a random lava ball can't send us spiralling down into doom and destruction. But we should be okay. Hello. I see you there. Oh, come on. Come on. What are you doing here? And there we go. There is the aforementioned death and destruction. Oh, this is just awful, isn't it? Come on, down you come. Okay. Okay. We're all right. We're in, and we have uncovered, again, those of you who are new to Spelunky 2, one of the secrets of Spelunky 2, which is in World 2, you can find this hidden entrance that takes us to Vlad's castle. Any Castlevania fans in the house? Uh, that's gone off, which is a little scary, to be honest. Um, just get these bats away from me. I actually kind of want to close this again, just because I don't, I don't want him to set it off. And there, Vlad has been slain for us by this lovely man that we rescued earlier. Um, right, you go down, yeah, if you go down there, then I can come in here. And you're less likely to cause a problem. Okay, I think we sh I think we may have gotten rid of him. The, the hired helps uh, are ostensibly there to help you, but they're often more trouble than they're worth. Uh, they can be a real, uh burden sometimes because they are very chaotic and they will just cause trouble yeah I just threw him I don't know I just threw him away maybe he'll come back he might not have died I think he died because he didn't come with us they killed you and Martin earlier yeah they'll do that you know the hired help have always been kind of weird I it's interesting because they made them more useful in Spelunky 2 like I feel like in Spelunky 1 they were just categorically like troublesome uh, and in Spelunky 2, it feels like they can be useful. Um, but they can also just be a nightmare. Still. As ever. Pfft, I, I just... I know it's there, but it's still very scary. It just intimidates me. The, the crush balls. Anything that's instant death, especially. Just so scary to me. Okay, we should be able to get up above this lad. Just make sure we clear them out. I like to be methodical and clear these guys out because you never know when you're going to want to explore around these areas. We'll go over the top of this ball so that we don't accidentally crush ourselves. I don't think there's anything over here that we want, really. Okay, let's make our way out. You kept whipping Vlad and he telefragged you. I mean, that's asking for trouble, to be honest. I said, I don't think you can whip him. I think you have to, um... <clears throat> I think you do actually have to, um... Alright, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't think you can whip him, because he teleports when you whip him. I don't even know if whipping actually damages him or not. It might do, but I'm not sure. Oh, they kept whipping Flag. I see. That makes more sense. I was like, why would you keep whipping Vlad? He just teleports. Right, I think we want to send this guy to the left when we go down now. Because I think that's a little easier to control his bombs than it is if he goes right. And, uh, and we'll see how we go. 
if this works, great. If it doesn't, uh, you know, not ideal, I suppose, but... Wow, something just... Oh, man, we're going to get bombed here. No! Whoa, that's very scary. Oh, he blew himself up. That's very funny. I think we should be okay here. I actually don't like this because I don't like being this underneath him. Oh, come on, come on. Not like that. This tiny bomb drop. That's so rude. Okay, uh, should we try it? We'll try a shortcut run. We'll see, see if we can get it to work. If I remember, I'll inevitably mess it up somehow. Um, you, no, you do not. Yes, we died. Thank you, Wongo. Um, so yes, uh, you don't control any bombs now. You can't, he bombs, uh, he just bombs three times. I thought it was still when you were underneath him, but it's not. It's just, he just bombs three times and that's very scary. Also, whoa, hello. <laughs> oh. I do feel like I need a, a you died emote of some sort. I haven't also, I, you know, I have definitely streamed quite a bit of souls on this, uh, but uh, not since, uh, not since uh, I started streaming regularly again, so I should do that. That is making me think of, of streaming again. Oh, streaming Dark Souls again. Uh, which I bring up purely because um, uh, I believe MJ was first streaming Dark Souls uh, when I started watching her stream. And I do love it. Yes, yeah. It's a very good emote. I do like it. MJ's got some very good emotes. <sighs> okay. And yeah, you saying that, you, you using that emote just reminded me that uh, it's been a while. I mean, I've, I've been playing Dark Souls. We, uh, <laughs> I've actually been doing a co-op playthrough of Dark Souls 2 with my mods, uh, Kenneth Die Second and Revelation. Um, but <laughs> I, um, we got to the, we've, we've done all the DLC, all of the, basically the entire game. And we're at the final boss and we just haven't done it in like a month. Because we've, I think we've been distracted by Red Dead Online. Which is not what I would have expected to happen, to be honest. But that's how it went. So I had a first time playthrough of Dark Souls 3, having a blast with it. I really like Dark Souls 3, you know. It get, it, it has its detractors, for sure. I think because uh, it definitely feels like they played it a little bit safer after how different Dark Souls 2 was. Uh, and I know some people aren't into that. Uh, some people aren't into the way that it, it answers some of the questions from Dark Souls 1. But I, I really enjoy Dark Souls 3. I think it's a really fun game. Uh, I would love to sacrifice this boy. So this is our lovely friend Monty, who we are going to sacrifice to an elder god for some glasses, as you do. Mm, I'd like to sacrifice this boy as well, but I don't know how it'll go. Probably not well at this rate. Okay, we're going to have to just throw him. And that means we're probably not going to get him killed. Oh, we're not going to get him sacrificed. Or we'll sacrifice him, but he'll probably be dead when we do it. Okay, yeah, he is dead. And we took damage, which was unnecessary. I wasn't going to get it done anyway. Uh, that puts us at two points, I think. We only sacrificed one of the dead guy. Uh, I don't know that this has gone off. Okay, well, if it has... This is awful. <laughs> Who put all these rats here? Oh, and another spider. What is this place? All right. You know what? I'm out of here. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, another altar. Wow. It is weird. I feel like when you get altars on the run, you tend to get tons of altars on the run. And I don't know what causes that. <laughs> uh, what did, am I calling them rats again? They are, they are moles. You're correct, Wongo. <laughs> um... They're absolutely moles. Uh, I have over the years I have called them rats. I have called them beavers. Uh, there was a claim that I called them badgers. I don't believe I ever called them badgers. I think that was a misunderstanding. 
Um, they definitely don't look like badgers. But they do look a little bit like uh, rats. They are also, I think sometimes people call them mole rats. Ah, uh, uh, mm. ah, mm, that's no good. Too busy thinking about my turkey getting punched. <laughs> Who isn't thinking about that, you know? Um, not paying enough attention to what's around me. All right, we want to take this key with us. That's the goal of this run. It may not go very far, given that we've already taken as much damage as we have, but we'll see how we do. So normally we would take it down to that room there, which would uh, get us the Ujitai, which is used to find secrets. But as I say, this is... Uh, things are different today. Or on this run specifically, things are different. Just call them rodents, good blanket term. It is a good blanket term. Maybe I should do that. Okay, that guy's tripped over his own rock, which is very humorous. All right, we're taking this key with us. Now we need to take this key with us to, through the entire game. I don't know if it'll happen this time, but we'll give it a shot and we'll see how we go. Whoop. Easy does it. Throw that at that. I also need to be careful I don't throw the key into like a pit that I can't get it out from. Which is definitely something that could happen. Don't really need to go down there. Which way would I rather go? Probably, probably to the jungle because it's less likely that we put the... If we drop the key in lava, it's gone. If we drop the key into a spike pit, we can get it back out. But anyway, the rodents, the rats, the, the moles, they are a pain. They are a blight on our existence. And I don't... Oh, I've got paste. Bad. There we go. He is down. Spent an extra bomb there. I forgot I had paste. When you have... The reason that matters is because I throw the bomb at him. Obviously, normally it would bounce down the corridor towards him. But with the sticky paste, it sticks to the floor. Mm. Means that it doesn't catch on him. Okay. It is weird how the key is heavier than most other items. Uh, I don't know what the uh, the theory is there. Okay, need to make sure I don't leave the key behind here. This is a very easy place to do it. That's, that's actually exactly what I was hoping would happen. Uh, I could not have planned that better. We don't even need to go down there because the key is with us. Yeah, I can't identify animals. It's well established. I don't understand animals. Spike shoes, I would love. Spike shoes lets us do extra damage when we jump on enemies, but also, crucially, lets us walk on these spiky blocks in the jungle, which would normally hurt us to stand on. They are still quite dangerous. Uh, I, I should probably grab the idol here, um, if I can. Famous last words. There we go. Because I can just sell it immediately. If I had to teleport, teleport it, if I had to carry it around the level, I would be less inclined to do so, but an easy quick sell. My pug is a ginger cat. Yes. So, so, Andrew, for the, if you haven't seen, um, in the options, you can actually change the pet between the pug, the cat, and I believe that is a hamster. There was a lot of debate about Poochie, but I believe she is a hamster. Um, it does say so in the, um, in the directory. Of course there's a spider. There's always a spider. This guy coming down. Okay, so you see the spike shoes? We just killed that guy immediately when we jumped on him. This is horrible, isn't it? Look at this. 
I'm, I'm actually tempted to bomb here because this guy is so potentially dangerous. Um, reason being is because his boomerang will kill us and there is a spike thing down there that is quite scary. Um, I would love to bring the pet over. This is always a little bit scary, but we should be fine. Because we have the climbing gloves. Okay. The lady in red gone from the first game. Oh yeah, you watched the co-op stream. Kyle, yes. Uh, Kyle was playing as the lady in red. Um... But yes, they they took out they took out the two uh, they took out the the man and the lady from the first one, which I think makes sense because uh, it was it was always a bit weird because they just um, although they were humans they just behaved like an animal like they do the thing obviously the damsels when you firstly they won't move at all until you um, until you rescue them and then they just stand there uh, and then as soon as you put them down they just start walking back and forward aimlessly and it just feels like look. Not all, the hu not all humans are of equal intelligence, but I'm sure most humans could work out not just to wander into danger recklessly. Um, so it always, to me, just felt like, like weirdly dissonant just from the sense of, I feel like a human would be a little bit smarter than this. But, uh, you know, may maybe not, maybe not. Oh my goodness. I thought he would have been hit by the thing. I was wrong. That was uh, a foolish miscalculation. Okay, we need to go back up. There's nothing for us down here. So the moon challenge. Nice easy way to get some money. Hi, Wayne, by the way. <laughs> You've seen me play, right? Yeah, I, that, yeah. Listen, I mean, you say that like that's not how I play. Like, recklessly and... Actually, to be fair, I don't play very recklessly. I, if anything, I play too slowly and too cautiously. I would love to go over here. I would actually bomb for it if the mattock ran out. Oh, look at that. More bombs. More bombs. Love to see that. Love a few bombs. I, I guess we mine down towards this ruby. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I'm not going to spend the bomb for the ruby, I don't think. Not just for one ruby. Uh, they are more valuable on World 2, and that is quite worth noting. And there was a lot going on in that stream. That is true. There was It was a very chaotic stream. Uh, those of you who did not see it, we did a co-op Spelunky stream. A four-player co-op Spelunky stream over on uh, on Martin's stream, Kenneth I second, uh, last weekend. Which was a ton of fun. This game is very fun in co-op. Uh, co-op not yet out on PlayStation 4. Oh, sorry, is out on PlayStation 4. Not yet out on PC, although they have said they are hoping it will be out within the next month. Uh, I hate them. These guys are the worst. I do not want to walk towards its face because I believe its face. I've heard people saying, oh, it's, fa it's more scary from the front. And I think, I, I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it is true. Um, that they're more likely to eat you from the front. You can't even spell your own name. It's fine. <laughs> that's very good. Okay, right, that's that guy dealt with. Um, huh, that's that guy dealt with. There's a monkey dealt with. That's that guy dealt with. Multiple dudes, all dealt with. Love to see it. Now, in, importantly, we, we don't know where the black market is because we don't have the Ujitai, because we brought this key with us and you use the key to find the Ujitai. Now I see like these backgrounds behind this like grey area here they are always very tempting to think like oh that's it but I'm not sure that they are. Uh, we will check in this room because sometimes that's a giveaway. I don't think this is the floor because it sounds the music doesn't sound like it's changed. Mega Duck. Giles seems like the kind of guy who loves <laughs> the Republican Party and Gentlemen's Club. Yeah, I don't trust that Giles, that's for sure. Did they turn down the number of uh, snap traps in the jungle, by the way? Because I feel like I see them less than I used to at launch. I know they patched them to make them a little easier to spot, but it feels like there aren't quite as many as there used to be. I feel like they were just everywhere. Maybe people were just like, this is too, there's too much instant death. 
I can't handle it. Dare I? The riskiest sacrifice. Oh, well, that's actually... Mm, actually, no, that's, that should be fine, right? Because we ca he can't... He can't get to us from there. Okay. Perfect. Those guys will instantly kill you if they jump on you. There we go. And of course, there's immediately a bear trap. Bear trap's very good for doing uh, that. Which we love. Replace them with parachutes. Yeah, there are parachutes just everywhere. You're right. Too many parachutes, perhaps. But I do like a parachute, so... I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, yeah, I'm still looking for that black market. It's, it's definitely harder to see. It used to be really easy to see in the first Spelunky. Um, and I feel like it's a lot harder to see now. Okay, I'm going to drop down here. Hopefully not get done in by the climbing gloves. Okay, this guy is <laughs> a nightmare. So I'm just not going to deal with him. Because we don't need to. You got killed by a man. He said you froze it, jumped on its head and died. Yeah, it must have just unfrozen as you jumped on its head. The, that is the, scary, the scariest move uh, is trying to jump on a man eater like exactly like that. Few things as terrifying. I would love you to come over, buddy. There we go. Okay. Very scary. I hate monkeys. No! Oh my gosh. I thought he'd knocked us in there. Now, we do only have one health, so who knows how this will go, but... Oh, he's got us! No! No! Damn it. He saw just a glimpse of us, and those tiki men, once they put the curse on you, you've got to hit them. We have managed to do that, sadly. Uh, that run started badly. I feel like that kind of put us on a bad run. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Alright, we'll do one more before we do the daily challenge. Uh, we'll try that again, see if we can get it to work. And if not, then the daily challenge lies in wait. I don't know why I <laughs> I bombed that and then jumped down like a fool. Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I could actually have used a uh, a bat to get back up here, but it's not overcomplicate things too much. Bad damage. Very bad damage. Look at this. She's playing sloppily now. Do I want a torch? I mean, kind of. Torches are very good. They're basically, uh, they're basically the same as a rock, except that you can set them on fire to double the damage they deal. Which is a win-win, really. I like that Gengar remote. That Gengar remote is very good. Who is this Gengar emote from? Oh, it's a global emote. Wow, I didn't even know. I did not know Twitch had a global Gengar emote. That's incredibly good. Come on, go on, Iron. You can do this. I'm, I'm so... I, I want to believe. We actually pulled it off yesterday, which is uh, the galling thing. Because you do it once and you're like, oh, I can do it now. No, I can't do it now. You've got to get so much lateral movement to the right. Uh, with the late jump.
You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try it again another time. Andrew loves Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Not to speculate too much about Andrew's, uh... Personal activities. But, uh... He loves to get spicy. I do love the little arm flower. I love how she immediately goes back to smiling as soon as the turkey comes down. It's not like there's like a, uh, a calm down animation. Just like, nope. Also, I love that this guy keeps getting like... Oh, there's so many turkeys here. What's going on? Also, Yang is behind this shop. So we're not actually going to be able to get to him easily. Um, I will buy the ropes, I think. I think they could actually come in handy here. Oh, I needed... Mm, okay. Um, no, I was hoping that would knock the turkey down. It did not knock the turkey down. Let's spend a rope. I could actually probably have brought the turkey up from <laughs> below. I don't think it would have been that difficult to do. Um... And I don't even know that I need two turkeys here, but listen, it's a learning experience for sure. All right, listen, I will not. Also, what? <laughs> there are 152. I've never heard anyone say there are 152 Pokemon before. Like, which, which one Pokemon is the? Which one Pokemon is the exception to the rule? It's like, it's like the original 151 and Togepi. That's the. Uh, those are the only allowed Pokemon. I've not seen the key here, by the way. Oh man, we can't get back up, can we? But what is this design, Derek? Like a trap, a trap by the exit. What are we doing here? What, Derek, what are we doing here? What do you call this? An abomination, that's for sure. Oh, did you see that whip? The save the turkey. Pretty happy with that one. I hate that the bombs send the turkeys flying like that, but... Didn't even get the 500 gold. Well, we did. It's fine. Not taking the risk this time. Also, I love that this guy just walks around with this shotgun out. I know he's protecting a vault, but... I feel like you could you don't need that my guy. You're okay. Use that gold to set off the arrow trap. Very, very important. Whoa! Go on. <laughs> oh dearie me. Wow, did you see that? I was I was ready for him to roll. I was not ready for him to ping like that. <laughs> that was very good. Oh, Spelunky, why must you treat me like this? Okay, all right. <clears throat> yeah, this game, this game, it, I love it. And we, we've had some really good runs in the last few days where we've gotten really far, but sometimes it will just do that to you. And you know what? I kind of love it. it dying, in the, dying in World 1, I, here's the thing is, I feel like World 1 is the most chaotic world. Um, in terms of the moles, the, the, yeah, the moles, <laughs> got me questioning what they're called now. Uh, the moles, the rolling lizards, uh, the way that cavemen run around, the turkeys are like kind of a chaotic element. I actually think it might be the most completely chaotic. Yeah, World 6 is pretty chaotic, that's for sure. But the thing is, World 6 is chaotic because there's lots of things that can explode, but they all tend to explode very quickly at the start of the level. And same in World 5. Like, I think World 1, World 1 has more chances for, like, or certainly almost as many chances. I mean, World, also, World 6 is, like, the end of the main game, so it makes sense that that one's pretty wild. But it's very easy to get randomly pinged into death like that in World 1. But it kind of doesn't matter, because you're only in World 1. At worst, you're, like, 10 minutes into the run, and, uh, hey... 
and they're usually so much fun or so silly that it's kind of fine. You know, they're not the deaths that annoy me. The deaths that annoy me are the ones where it's very much my fault. Uh, yeah, you have to respect the game that will do that. And it's very upfront about it, you know. And it's like, hey, that that's spelunking. Som sometimes it will do that. Sometimes you feel like you're in a situation where you don't know what you could have done. Usually, you know what you could have done. Like there, I should have waited for him to not be looking at me to go down. And gotten out of his line of sight so that he didn't roll on me like as soon as those things start rolling at you the chaos ensues right and it, you're never quite sure what's going to happen uh, um especially when there are like breakable blocks coming into play like there were there um but yeah i i think the, the fact that world one is the most chaotic when you get to like world two and two th through four at least and even world five to an extent you can kind of those are kind of reliable you're less likely to get just absolutely banged around. Certainly does happen, you know, monkeys will jump on you and they'll uh, stun you into some spikes or something like that. But there's fewer weird chaos, like, or a mosquito will fly off from off screen and knock you into a, um, a snap trap or something. And Volcana is certainly chaotic, but I think World 1 is one of the most chaotic. Um, anyway, enough hypothesizing. Time for the daily challenge for the 12th of November, 2020. First one on patch 1.16. That may or may not matter depending on how deep we get. We, we shall see. Okay. That man immediately gets punched. As if to say, you want some chaos? Here's some chaos. Okay. Also, does the music start faster on the daily challenge? Or does it start faster on your first run after booting up the game? Because I feel like sometimes the music kicks in at like 10 seconds and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. I don't want to whip that pot. Because there might be something in the pot. There was a spider in the pot. See, that could have been the death of us. So many things in pots. What is happening here? Well, it's Spelunky. Spelunky's happening here. Why am I? Why am I asking that? I already know what it is. Okay, perfect. Hmm, don't love that. That's some bad damage to take. Uh, I do kind of want to rescue the cat. One one cat is always nice to have. I remember was it yesterday or the day before where we got. We were going down a rope and just got pinged into a uh, set of spikes. That was a that was a fun time. Are you, are you okay down there? If I let you go down there, you are. You're fine. Okay. Always good to check how the cat's going to do if you just let him uh, ride it out. Because again, they will just run into death if you're not careful. Kind of want to get the ghost pot. It is a bomb. But I do think, you know, $5,000 is a lot of money. Uh, it's probably worth the bomb. The risk is, uh, if we're not careful, then we'll blow up the ghost pop, which would be bad. Um, that shouldn't happen. Famous last words. Now, there is still a mole over here, which we should be careful about. Okay. That mole is still around, by the way, and he's over by the ghost pot now, which I don't love. Okay, we should be fine now. Uh, the only thing is I would kind of like to bring a rock. We have a little bit of time, although it's it does kind of hurt to backtrack, but it's not difficult to get a rock. And having a throwable can be life or death sometimes. Throw that as far away from me as possible to make it easy. The original had a tune that only played on the first run of the session, so it could be that. Yeah, I think it may be that. It definitely feels like sometimes the intro, the little intro jingle, like builds up for like 20 seconds or so, and sometimes it finishes quicker. Um, so I definitely think something's up there. Okay, well, I hate the, I hate this specific thing, like the super long pit. 
it always uh, it always scares me. Um, there is the um, the Uja Eye room, which is accessible certainly, but not necessarily easily so. Come on, uh, drop off. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, we are so gonna die. <laughs> I thought I genuinely thought we could make that uh, make that thing there. Apparently not. What is happening here? This is uh, terrifying. Okay, okay. Can I get back up there? No. Bad rope. Well, we'll be careful. We'll be cautious, and we'll make it happen. I wish you could send the cat up and have them bring stuff down. That would be kind of cool. I have killed the cat. That's a shame. All right, let's uh, let's get this Ujitai before we go any further, and then we can uh, look at buying stuff from the shop. Guess what killed you? Was it was it that pit? Because I would not have been surprised. If it was that pit with the uh, the things at the bottom. Wow, there's so much cool stuff here. Lovely little Pikachu there. Always love to see a Pikachu. You know we respect Pikachu in this house. Exit's just down below us. It does have punch traps all around it, which I don't love. 16 grand, you say? 16 grand. It's a lot of grands. No ropes as well. So if we go down... You know, I don't want the power pack that much that I'm willing to... Um, It's interesting. It's always interesting to consider like how much you actually care about like a given item. And it turns out I don't care about the power pack enough to uh, to spend the to risk the ghost pot for it. Okay. All right. Now this is why you have to bring a throwable. Cuz you never know when that's going to happen. You never know when that's going to happen. It's just, it's chaos out here. It really is. We'll just bop him down there out of the way. He's safe now. We may not be, but he is. Man, these turkeys are very accessible, Yang. It's almost like you could have done this yourself. I see it. Better safe than sorry, eh? I don't know why I went Canadian there. Better safe than sorry, eh? I kind of want to bring this dude over so that we can tame him safely. Now, we could also bomb them for health. That might be a better choice, to be honest, uh, given that we only have the one health. Uh, and I don't know what Yang is going to give us, but it probably isn't, probably isn't going to be all that. Is that how Canadians sound? Oh, I'm, I'm probably not the person to ask. <laughs> I know some Canadians. And we'll leave it at that. Let's hear it again. Are you a Canadian, Wongo? Is this coming from experience? That's what I need to know. Can I? Mm, okay. Well, I can't make it like that. That's for sure. I really want. I want to get over here, but I'm not sure if we can. Oh, we can do it. Beautiful. Oh man. I. Mm, nothing to throw here. We may have to throw the cat, which I don't love. I guess we could hypothetically throw the. Uh, if I can kill this guy. There we go. And then we don't have to throw the cat. 
Okay, that's fine. That doesn't hurt us. The the stem of the arrow doesn't hurt us. We'll take that. That's a, that's a big dub. Okay, do this very carefully. This is uh, there's a lot going on here. I will I will return to the the theory of the uh you've already been shot he should just jump off the edge now i don't okay he did not jump off the edge but we also have very low on time here but i would really like this bomb box okay we're fine so three minutes the ghost comes you are canadian good to know uh, what was I actually saying? What did I say? Um, better to be safe than sorry. I, the, all I know is the sorry, right? Better to be safe than sorry. I think it's just because I said A. That's, I always associate, you know, I think people associate the A with Canadians. That is the stereotype, eh? <laughs> That's, that was an unintentional A at that time. Maybe it's Essex people. Maybe Essex people and Canadians have more in common than we knew. Better safe than sorry, eh? Yeah, see, that A was, that A was too overpronounced. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. That was very scary. Oh, this guy's facing the wrong way, which is nice for us. Grab this uh, stuff. Yeah, that's what they're all about. Uh, right, I want to go to the jungle. Uh, it's an even day. That means I usually go to the jungle. I've I've now adopted this for full cloth, I think. No ropes does really hurt. Um, okay, well. Mm, I'm not actually sure we got him there. We did not get him. That's very scary. Oh, I saw blood. I think maybe we got him that time. We did. Oh, what a bomb. What a bomb. It's a good thing he didn't break the uh, the ghost jar there. That would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Wongo. That's what they're all about. Very good. Why, why am I throwing rocks at things I don't want to kill? Too busy thinking about Canada. You feel hard done by. Why? Why do you feel hard done by? Oh, it's because you you did say a boot. Okay. My bad. I misread it. I, I I suspected that you had that you had said that's what they're all about, which I don't know why you'd have said that. My apologies. <laughs> You made the joke and we just we we just ignored it and made the joke on top of it. Beautiful. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry guys. Uh no shoes. So as we discussed earlier, and there is okay. Case in point, you see this? See the top of this tree? That's trouble. A spelunky baby. Okay. Uh, we did leave the pet behind. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I just don't like the monkeys. They're a pain. They actually, one of the nice things about the monkeys is they don't hurt you uh, when you touch them. So you can, like, get right up in their grill. Um, and sometimes you will want to, because uh, when they jump on you and stun you, that's when they're going to cause you a trouble. I, I, I've never actually gone for this. It's just too scary to me. I really don't like the, <laughs> I really don't like those traps. Uh, they they intimidate me. I'll I'll admit it. They fully intimidate me. I don't know why. Well, I'm killing this guy because I want his boomerang. 
and I didn't want to jump in front of him for the boomerang. Is there anything over here that we want? Probably not. Probably not. We could go up and get the pet. See how feasible it is. If we don't have to use any resources to go up and get the pet, I'll do it. Uh, I'm not actually... Oh, man. Okay, well, now we've spent the life that we would get back from the pet anyway. So, it feels less worthwhile. And I think we would actually need to use... Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. What a bomb. What a good bomb. That's the redemption for taking that silly damage to a skeleton. How was that skeleton there, by the way? He must have come from above and dropped down to there because we already went through there. I feel a little hard done by. But only a little. That was mostly my fault. Okay. Oh, man. You're going to do this to me, are you? Look at this. A spike pit. I hate going across spike pits. And then below it, if you want to bomb down and skip it, two more spike pits. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. And uh, the mosquitoes, of course, ready to slam you as you go past. Right, that should do the second damage to him, and then the whip is the third damage. Clean. Clean as a cucumber. The cucumbers like notoriously clean. I mean, I guess they're kind of wet. I think this is the. Uh, I think this is the. Um, blah, 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 blah. The black market level. I completely forgot the name of it for a second there. Oh no! 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 Why are you here? Uh, it's fine. We can drop down to this side of him and then just bop him out. Oh, I put my boomerang on him. <laughs> that doesn't actually matter because I can just do this, but it does waste a little bit of time. I think I like whipped the boomerang back as I uh, as I died or as I threw it. I love that the boomerang kills stuff in pots and yet the shotgun does not. We know that's just spikes. There's more spikes there. This is a spike nightmare. Whistles are clean. Yeah, that's true. Clean as a whistle is definitely a thing. Oh yes, you're right. Sorry. I, I, where did I get c cool as a? Where did I get clean as a cucumber from? You're absolutely right, Wongo. Uh, Cool as a cucumber, clean as a whistle. I don't know where I got clean as a cucumber from. I like it, but uh, I don't think it was. I don't think everyone's anyone's ever said it before me. Uh, also, it's nearby. I don't see it, but it is somewhere around here. Just looking for any obvious entrances. I no, don't immediately see it. Okay, we lost a little bit of uh, gold there. That's fine. We can afford to lose a little bit of gold. Yeah, I coined that one. <laughs> you don't think it'll catch on? You're not a fan of... Uh... You're not a fan of clean as a... Uh... What did I say? Clean as a cucumber? Exit is here, which is interesting. I mean, the thing we want is... Uh over this way but I actually really don't like this oh that's actually quite bad okay he's gone back that would have been awful um, these guys are the worst categorically because if that skull hits you you're just done oh and we're out of time as well oh man and we're really out of time I'm gonna have to I don't know what my plan was there. I didn't notice I was out of time. That's bad. Oh, dear. <laughs> Always clean your cucumber. Absolutely. That was an awful way to die. I'm sorry. That was... <laughs> oh, that's Dark Souls, baby. Uh, yeah, I handled that expertly. I panicked. I put a bomb on myself. I stood on the bomb. And I said, Take me... <laughs> Take me home. Oh, okay. That's Spelunky, baby. I love it. I love it. Oh, dear. Um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. We've got a few people in, so maybe we'll send them on in just a minute. But I'll, I'll wrap up first before we do that. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. 
Thank you very much again to MJ Play Games for the raid. Lovely to have you all in. Thanks, Wongo, for sticking around. Lovely to chat. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely, uh, a lovely rest of the day. Thank you very much for the follow as well. And uh, stay safe. Take care. I'll catch you all very soon. And oh, we should check the leaderboards. You're right. We should check the leaderboards and see that I actually did better than Kyle for once. Okay. Hard day. Hard day. I don't feel too bad. People, people, people had a hard time today. All right. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Cheers.